Alright guys, so now let's start with the first use case, how to use parameters in calculations. So now let's create now some kind of KPI to track the profits by the subcategory. Okay, so now we're going to stay with the big data source and we're going to go to the products to get the subcategory and then we need the measure profits. So we're going to go to the orders and we're going to get the profits over here. Okay, so now we're going to show as well the labels on the view. And now we're going to have a threshold or KPI where we're going to say if the profit is less than 10k, then it's going to be red. And anything higher than 10k, it's going to be green. And now in order to create the logic and the colors in the view, we have to create calculations. Don't worry about how to create calculations in Tableau because we're going to have a dedicated section for that. So now in order to create the calculation, we're going to go to the data pane, right click on the empty space, and then choose create calculated field. So let's go there. And now we're going to call it KBI colors and now then we're gonna write here the expression about our logic so it says if we need some and then we have the profits we said if it is less than 1000k then it's gonna be red so we're gonna write the value red otherwise it's gonna be green so let's end it so with that we have our logic for the colors in our view and as you can see over here in our calculations we have a constant it is the 10k so let's go and create that so we're going to click ok and here on the left side you can see our dimension we're going to take it and put it on the colors and now let's go inside and assign the values for the colors so green it's going to be green and red it's going to be red so let's click OK. So now we can go and give this report to the users and they can view it and interact with it. But now as you can see the calculations of the KPI is really static and they cannot customize it. In order now to give to the users the option of defining what is red and what is green, we have to use parameters. And now in order to create parameters in Tableau, there is two ways to do that. Either you go to the data pane and create your parameters or you create it in the place where you need it. For example, if you are creating a filter, so inside of the creation of the filter we can create parameters so now let's see first how we can create parameters in the data pane so in the data panes there is two ways to create parameters either you go to the empty space and right click on it then you can see here create parameter or the other option is that you go to the head of the data pane and you have here small arrow so if you click on that you're gonna see exactly the same drop down and here we have the option of creating parameter so let's select that and now we have the window of creating parameters so first thing first we have to give it a name so we're gonna call it choose threshold next we have to define the data type of the parameter and if you go over here you can see a list of all data types but here you know all of them but tableau here decided to go with float and integer instead of number whole and number decimal but they are exactly the same so for now we're gonna go with the integers we don't want to have decimal numbers in the kpi and then once you do that we can define the display format and here for each data type there are different formats to represent the values so as you can see we have automatic number standards percentage currency customized i'm gonna stay with the automatic and then in the next one you have to define the default value that's gonna be show up in the input so here i would say it's gonna be the 10,000, and of course the users can change that then after that you have different options to limit what the users can select so the default option here is all that means you are allowing the users to enter any value but of course we limited the data type to integers that means the users cannot go and enter any characters in the input field or you define for the user a list of allowed values so here you can go and allow for example five different values maybe to make sure that nothing goes wrong in the view so here you are making the parameter more restrictive so the list is something like discrete you are allowing a list of distinct values and the next one is something like the pins you are defining the start and the end of the range and then you are defining the steps between those two values so for now i'm gonna leave it open-ended so the users can select whatever they want all right so now let's go and hit ok to create the parameter and now if you check the data pane on the left side let me just minimize those tables you can see that the parameter is going to be created always at the end of the data pane so there is like a separator between your data and the parameters and that's because the parameters are something that is independent from your data source so there is no dependence between the parameters and your data set it's completely something independent and only special for the workbook okay so now we have the parameter how are we going to show it to the users so in order to do that it's really easy go to the parameter right click on it and then we have the option of showing parameters in the view so let's select that and now you can see the parameter input on the right side of the view so here we can see the value of 10k as a default so now let's go and change the value we're gonna have it like 500 
you can see nothing changed in our view. So does it matter what you are giving here? You see that the view is not changing. So that means we have now to connect it somehow to the view. And in order to do that, we're going to go inside the calculations and replace the constant value with the parameter. So let's see how we can do that. So we're going to go to our calculation, the KBI colors, right click on it, and then let's go to edit. So now we have to go over here and replace this value. So I'm going to remove it. And now we're going to type the name of the parameter. As you can see, Tableau can suggest us here and click on it. So with that, any values that the user is going to give for this parameter going to be used directly in this calculation. Let's try that out. Gonna click OK. So as you can see, something changed already in the view. But let's go and play with the values. Instead of 5K, we're gonna have like 20K. Let's OK. And with that, I just changed the threshold for this KPI. So now anything below 20K gonna be red. Anything higher gonna be green. Let's have another value like 50K. And now as you can see, the threshold is really high. We have only two values with green. And as you can see, it's very dynamic. And you give the users the power of defining and customizing the KPI as they want. And with that, you're gonna cover a lot of requirements in only one view. I just love this feature in Tableau. All right, so that's all for the dynamic calculations. Next, we will learn how to use parameters to create dynamic reference lines and if you like my content and you want to support the channel then i really appreciate it if you support like and comment this is really gonna help the youtube algorithm thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye